What's up YouTubers, uh, today I'll be showing you how to install MAME uh, on OS Catalina. So basically all the 64-bit operating systems, um, and before we used to have the MAME 32-bit and now it's uh, no more accessible. So first of all we need to, we need to go on a Safari and we need to down the SDL framework so if you will type that onto Google um, the first link that pops up is uh, this one so just click on that one and obviously we need it for the Mac the latest one so it's a 2.0 one it's just here on the download column and here we'll be selecting the Mac OS one So it's instantly downloaded, you can just go on it. So basically on, on that one, we need uh, this one, SDL framework file. So we need to copy this one into our library frameworks. So the easiest way to go through is uh, click on go and select go folder and type on library slash framework and then press OK. So as soon as you will hit that, um, you will get that folder. And as you can see, I've got this already installed. So basically you don't need to type in any commands or anything. You just drag and drop and put in your password and it does itself. And after that, you just close that, close this one as well. So we got the simple direct media layer installed onto it. Now we need to find a Meme emulator. So we need to find the latest one because they keep changing it. If you go to memedev.org, you scroll down, uh, click on the Apple one. So here we've got um, some source code and stuff. We're not interested in that one. What we're looking for is Apple Macintosh Intel processor. Power PCs are obviously quite old, so I doubt anybody got it now. But if you do, don't get offended. You can download it from here. Um, so we're, we're looking at Intel one. So if we click on that one, um, here is what where we get the latest one, 64-bit for Intel. So you just click on that one and it will start downloading. I've already got that downloaded. So let me just take you straight to that folder. We go there. There's the one, name it 02264. So you need to find a best uh, place for that one. So I will go to my D drive and I will paste it here. And then what I'll do, I will just rename that to something what is easier for me to type on. So let's just say we select the Meme. So then what we do, we click on edit and copy. And then we go to our utilities in the Go menu. Here we will launch the terminal. So the terminal is here on your left. We've got um, the Meme installed, okay. So basically we need to go to that directory in a terminal. The way we do that, we type CD, which is change directory, and then give a space, and then we press edit and paste. So basically what we did, we, we copied the path for this one, and we just put it here, and then we just press enter. And here you are in the folder, as you can see the main way. So in order to see the files, you can press LS and press enter, or you can just double click on there and you can see the files here. So the file that we are actually looking for is this one, Meme64. So the way you're gonna launch that is you need to type a command, a very, very simple command. You need to press dot slash M-A-M-E 64 and then just press enter and what it will do it basically will launch the MAME 
there you go we've got it here so obviously I've got my some some of the games installed on it and uh, let me just show you they are working that's one of my favorite Obviously, you won't be able to hear any audio because uh, I plugged in my mic basically. So, here you can <clears throat> see it's fully operational. I can I can play and whoop the enemy's ass. <laughs> Pardon me. But you got the idea. So, but one thing I need to tell you is uh, let's just quit that one. So <clears throat> this one is uh, slightly different than the maybe 32 bit which was pretty simple and this one's called more options the more configuration but also it's uh, it's at the minute in a beta you can say so there's a lot of uh, new Jew games that are not working at the minute and they're asking for files like these or so I suggest if you have a problem like that just download a fresh copy of it because what happened was this art of fighting um, one wasn't working so I downloaded another copy and I pasted it and it started working but um, there are some some of them that are not working at the minute I don't know why but uh, like this one it's asking for a lot of files missing so that is because of the the ROM is probably corrupted or what what not but I'm, I'm not too sure about it but all I can say if you get these kind of errors just try downloading a fresh copy of it and um, lastly I want to show you that there is a file new Jew that I've just uh, pasted in my ROMs folder so any any games that you're downloading for example if you're downloading the Sega games make sure that the Sega BIOS is placed into the ROM and then you'll be able to run that so I've got this uh, new G1 here let me just show you I can find it Okay, so yeah, I've done a search and there you go, it's a new Jew one. So um, you will need to place that there so that you can run your games. Um, hope you find this tutorial uh, quite simple and easy. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that video and make happy playing the Meme 64 bit. And just to let you guys know that I'm not affiliated with anything. So you can get these files everything by yourself is this um, video was purely for educational purposes so that you can run maybe 64 bit and if you have any questions just give me a shout and I will try to help you guys thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel bye bye